Hey everybody, it's me, Lisa, Transcendence Brown, and I'm going to do a video today on the light activations that are occurring, and um, just a, a little bit of them, and how they work uh, with many, um, because some still don't quite understand, um, the light frequencies that are activating are inside of us, and um, they are who we are, they are our soul, our higher self, our star being essence. And they are source, they are absolutely everything. There is no difference in any of that. Um, we activate um, as uh, we go through this ascension process, and it is different for everyone for where they are at. Um, we activate in frequency. And then anything that's in discordant within uh, any of our bodies, the mental, the physical, the um, emotional, and uh, the soul, um, then have to tune uh, or be brought into alignment um, by us um, as conscious beings um, having to shift out of our head and into our heart and make a different decision and choose. Um, this reverses the field spin of our Merkaba and as a human it was backwards. Um, it, the, the part that many uh, don't get in the beginning is that this is required in every moment. It's not a I did it once and okay, thing doesn't work that way. It, we would all love it if it did. Um, it is quite the opposite, as this world is. Um, we live in the world of opposites, reverse and backwards here. Um, <laughs> we activate in frequency. Anything that is not in alignment with that new frequency will then, directly after, come up to be able to see. And these are the veils we put in place and we can see beyond them when we can understand what's going on. And we have to remove our judgment, we have to observe, we have to be aware of what is old programming and what is not. And we have to um, see things for what they are. We have to let go uh, of any limits that we perceive, um, anything holding us in a specific place, uh, that is a perceived um, limit, uh, those are perceptions, and we completely obliterate and change those um, along this way. Uh, we expand in light, and every time we do, we work, if you like that word, uh, to um, embody the frequency here. And as we do that, we encapsulate um, more dimensions, and then we walk in the metaphysical here. Um, that's the short version. Um, because it is that easy. Um, the long version is what everybody else wants to know is um, who, what, when, where, why, how. Um, that's the part we learn um, through observing. That's the part our higher self shows us along the way. And um, that's the part that those of us who have already done it share to assist others um, who are doing it um, now as well. Uh, there are many of us, and, and it's beautiful. So um, one thing that is important to understand is that after we have a huge light blast, a light upgrade, then immediately after, when is going to contract? Um, for one who has not technically ascended, if you want to use those words, um, because technically all have, and their body might not have made it yet, and their um, mind may not have made it yet, there might be some old emotional stuff left, but technically everybody has ascended, there is a version of them in every realm. Um, I have had the honor of meeting uh, all of the versions of many. Um, I can see the difference in uh, one. Um, and the cool thing is sometimes when the realms are uh, expensive and we are embodying many, then the only version I get is the higher realm aspect, which is absolutely beautiful because it is soul to soul, galactic being to galactic being, star being to star being here. Um, when the energies uh, contract, and then the humanness uh, comes forth again. Now, um, I am lucky enough uh, to not have to interact with many humans much anymore. <laughs> and when I do, I am aware, and I either assist them in shifting, or I dismiss them from my reality if they're not open, um, because I don't um, entertain anything less here. Um, it is how we do uh, what we're here to do. So, hmm. 
energies are amazing and exquisite, and we come to hold them all within. No separation, and we don't care about what other humans say. We do what we're called to do, and that's all that matters. And we, yes, as way showers, we lead the way. And so, um, we're gatekeepers. We um, assist others in getting through the gates, many different gates. You have the ascension gates, and you have the galactic gates. You have all kinds of different gates here. Um, they are all the same thing, different versions. Uh, we broke them apart, separated them um, for our own understanding. And those of us who uh, speak in light, those of us who do this um, for our, quote, job, we assist in bringing it all back together, uh, unifying, and we also uh, work to assist others in understanding um, in, a, in a much simpler way than the human complicated version of what is uh, true. So, after a huge light burst, um, a lot of people go into beating themselves up about falling backwards or doing it wrong again. There is no way to do this wrong. There is an expansion uh, and a contraction. There is an ascension and a descension, depending on where one is vibrating at that time. Um, one will, um, ascension and descension, we will be more human. Uh, expansion, contraction, I call it humanness, uh, because technically there's not really much human left. Um, we have an awareness that ex exists. It doesn't surface very often, and, and when it does, we're just clearing for a collective and energy that comes up, and we merge the masculine and feminine aspect of whatever that was. Um, and beyond that, um, there is no suffering, uh, there is no um, physical pain, um, there's no emotional pain, there's none of that here. Um, you have to let go of all of the density. You have to give up. You have to be fed up. Um, and want something different. You have to embrace the energy you hold inside. And you have to use it with all of your might. Um, we don't become creators here by sitting back. We don't um, create uh, whole new realities. We don't jump quantum style um, by sitting around and watching things go by. Um, there is a doing part of this energy um, or this process that is required. And um, we grab it and we go. And we jump and we leap and we hop and we move about and we sway. It is quite a, a exquisite um, here. So for those of you who are uh, seeking new earth, open your eyes. It, it is right in front of you. Um, you have to know how to read it, how to understand it, how to interact with it, um, how to... Um, um, see the signs that you programmed and put in place um, to speak to you um, in your own language. Um, uh, those of us that have done that um, have come to understand that language and we translate it for those who care. And for those who don't, um, we watch them as they suffer quite a bit and that has to be okay as well. Um, it is a part of the journey for those who chose it. Um, there are many with wide open hearts. All we have to do is speak and open them up and show them there's another way. And that's the favorite um, part, one of them. There are many here. All right, I will let you go, and I will come back. I am trying to do more videos these days. Um, I have lots to say. I can't remember any of it by the time I get ready to record. record. So I have to hop on, do it, go, and come back, and um, see if I can get a whole bunch of information out that helps others uh, who are seeking it. So, I love you. Absolutely. Beyond this reality here. And I welcome you um, to a reality uh, that is um, absolutely exquisite. And every moment it is sacred. And we exist from a place of love and only light here. And, and we transcend um, all of that human stuff. The separation of time and um, places. And we obliterate it and we break the barriers. And, and we do anything we want here. And it's pretty cool. Come join us. Uh, you live here too. You just gotta remember. Open that heart up uh, and let it all go. I love you. Mahalo. You can find me at awakeningtoremembering.com or on Facebook as transcending.consciousness um, or Lisa Transcendence Brown. Uh, come join us. We have a lot of fun and we share and help others too along the way.